Hey everybody, I'm Mark Porter, CTO of MongoDB. I am excited to be speaking at Google Data Cloud. I have been working around databases for over 30 years, and I love them because of the promises they make in terms of durability, correctness, availability, and operability, which frankly are some of the hardest promises to make in computer science. Joining me is Vadim Sapitsky, Forbes CTO. As Chief Technology Officer of Forbes, Vadim focuses on ensuring that one of the world's leading brands continues to stay at the forefront of technological innovation. He seamlessly led the team that managed the company's migration to the cloud, and he did it in record time. Prior to joining Forbes, Vadim worked for the City of New York, significantly advancing its internal technology tools. Vadim was born in Ukraine, earned a BA in Computer Science from Brooklyn College, and resides with his family in New Jersey. Over the last couple years, Vadim oversaw Forbes replatforming itself with MongoDB Atlas, our application data platform. Today, we're gonna chat about that. Vadim, thanks for joining me. It's great to see you again. Thank you, Mark. It's great to see you again as well. Thank you for inviting me. I am so excited to get into this discussion about your digital transformation at Forbes and how the pandemic affected you. From what I understand, you've seen record-breaking audiences during this period. Is that right? Yeah, during the pandemic, our audience has increased significantly, reaching 150 million users in our ecosystem. That is pretty incredible. That's a lot of users, and it's an accomplishment. Can you explain a little bit more about, about how that happened? Yes. In the past 25 years since we launched Forbes.com website, we've been focused on innovation and digital transformation. And it only accelerated in recent years. Our audiences have been growing steadily prior to COVID-19. However, our coverage of the pandemic and the foresight in creating a breaking news team, as well as scaling our social presence, has driven an increase of audiences across platforms. One of the greatest drivers in our ability to rapidly pivot and support such large audiences, we feel stem from being fully integrated with Google Cloud and MongoDB Atlas. The strengths of combined technology enabled us to rapidly and seamlessly scale without any impact to our users and the stability of the website. It also puts us in a position to continue to innovate and thrive under any circumstances. The ability to consolidate data into one place and have it highly available with very little latency was really a game changer for us. Are you seeing the same circumstances with other digital transformations, Mark? Wow, thanks for telling me about yours. Yeah, we absolutely are. Throughout the pandemic, we have seen more and more companies have to revisit how they present themselves digitally and physically to their customers. And so what we're seeing is applications being built by customers that run anywhere, that scale up or down as needed, and are easy to program against in this very dynamic environment against any framework of services and languages and how everything is changing so fast in computers today. So all in all, we're seeing the flexibility of using MongoDB combined with the flexibility and elasticity of Google Cloud, providing the ability to scale and pivot with an ease that has never been possible before. 100% agree. MongoDB is perfect for digital transformation. How have you been able to innovate while still maintaining simplicity and flexibility? So our North Star has always been developers. I think this single-minded focus is what has allowed us to provide products that are both easy to use and scalable. Once we focus on the developer and we just keep doubling down on that, we are able to provide better and better experiences. So rather than focusing on complicated things, we literally just try to focus on building great products that developers love. And so to that end, MongoDB itself is easy to use with native drivers in 14 languages, a flexible JSON-based data model, high availability and massive scale out right out of the box. And so you don't have to build servers, you don't have to build high availability, you don't have to choose a specific language, it's all there for you. And now we add on to this for customers like you by providing a modern platform that lets you do OLTP, add great writing of mobile applications, and then add search and analytics to those apps using a single interface based on open standards. However, 
All that said, and everything we do and Google Cloud does, innovation is still one of the hardest problems for customers like you. It sure is. So what we've realized is that companies today cannot outsource their innovation. And this is a bit of a change from years past. Given that a company's differentiation, regardless of your industry, comes through your ability to leverage software and data, you can't afford to provide inadequate software. And so this idea around innovating faster and more reliably is top of mind for the most disruptive companies I speak with. Their C-suite, who I speak with regularly, understands the roles that developers play and the questions they need to ask their engineering leaders. If we have more C-suite executives focused on how fast an organization can deploy and iterate an application, as well as doing that predictably around scheduled application deployment for the business, I think we see increases in innovation and digital transformation across the industry, which begs the question, what led you to make the decision to work with MongoDB and Google Cloud? Our decision to migrate to Google Cloud was made based on the tool set that it offers, scalability and developer friendliness. With MongoDB Atlas, as with any service that we use, we first evaluate if there is a hosted solution and what set of features it offers. And MongoDB Atlas honestly checked all the boxes. It also was perfect timing for us because it was in the middle of our cloud migration. And we knew that we wanted to reduce latency between our applications and databases to a, to a minimum. Simply put, we did not want to be in the database management business. Our focus is on building products, platforms, and new technologies instead of managing servers. So by eliminating routine backups, upgrades, and the need to over-provision our environments, MongoDB made it possible for us to focus on important things like innovation and our users' loyalty. Wow, that is awesome. And I am humbled to think about the complexity of the environment you work in. Have you seen any results from all of this work yet? Yeah, to begin with, our migration to MongoDB Atlas and Google Cloud took just six months, so it was an aggressive timeline. And since then, we've seen really great results. We've seen 58% increase in speed to market. We now release four times more often than before. We've also seen 73% increase in initiatives delivered. And while our velocity has been really improving tremendously, We've seen 30% decrease in hot fixes and rollbacks. It's inspiring to hear the role that your data platform and your cloud platform have played in your transformation. I'm glad you mentioned that the timing of your cloud migration served as an excellent time to rethink your data needs. Our collaboration with Google Cloud here at MongoDB feels very natural in terms of the technology we develop and how we approach serving our customers' needs. And that partnership gives DevOps teams a modern toolkit to maximize the value of their work and ultimately empower companies like you at Forbes to innovate. So the experience you've had is amazing. And I just have to ask, what's next for Forbes? Be really excited about what the next era of information will bring. On the technology side, we're using more of the serverless tech, cloud native, AI and machine learning, as well as experimenting with Web3 tech. On the business front, we are obsessed with building our customer loyalty, delivering first-in-class experiences, and offering the most relevant products to our users. Customer-centric requires us to be a highly data-driven company, if we have an ambitious roadmap for a first-party data initiative. Data is really the key to us understanding our audience on the deepest level. And this understanding is what cultivates relationship with key segments. Those include C-levels, entrepreneurs, and other leaders. As a result, we are continuing to evolve our AI-powered publishing platform. We want to make publishing simple and make our journalists' lives easier in the same way that actually MongoDB has made developers' lives easier. Additionally, we ex expand in our suite of consumer products, and this will bring enormous value to our customers. For us, innovation and transformation truly never stops. Wow, I can absolutely empathize with that sentiment. And that is a roadmap of the future coming fast. That's so exciting. Vadim, I am so appreciative of you taking the time to chat with me today. And it has been amazing to see how Forbes has transformed. And thank you. 
and thanks to everyone else for attending Google Data Cloud Summit today. Thank you, Mark. Hope to chat uh, in the future shortly.